happened over this weekend and the last Monday and Tuesday and shit. And nothing cool really came out because Sony decided to be a bunch of dicks, like always. And they decided yeah. to just fucking do their own shit next month. Of course. So we're gonna have to and I'm pretty sure Nintendo was it's planning to do the same thing. Although Nintendo did a really good job at showing some good stuff. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of disappointments. But let's oh yeah, get, for sure. But let's get into uh, some of the shit that stood out. <coughs> and we're gonna get into uh, since we're talking about Nintendo, their main highlight, which everyone thought was gonna be Breath of the Wild two. No. It was actually Metroid Dread. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did not see that one coming. No. Um, I never, all. I never thought it was ever gonna happen. Yeah, exactly. I uh, like, there's so many properties. Surprise. There's so many properties that Nintendo have, and they don't utilize. Yeah. This is a character yeah. that they've had in the bag forever. And yeah, it comes out in Smash Brothers. Yeah, it comes out in uh, Mario Kart or whatever. It comes out in whatever. But fucking finally make a game. Yeah. Um, I I am disappointed in the fact that it's not an actual like, uh, third person. Uh, Open world video game. Yeah. But this is a a fucking two D. It's it's a two D platformer. Um, which is fine though. Like, it, it's a kind of retro in that sense because you know. That's how we fucking know Metroid. Um, but I'm excited nonetheless. It looks good. Um, but yeah, I was expecting something a little bit more, I don't know, modern in that sense, I guess. Yeah, something, um, something new, like like Zelda. Yeah, 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 exactly. Looking and, like and that. And we all know that we, they can do that. I mean, like, they already showed us with Zelda, um, Breath of the Wild. But um, it would have been cool to have an open world, or, you know, third person uh, uh, video game. But I, I'm not hating this. No, I'm not hating it at I'm, all. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, me too. I mean, it's it's. Uh, when was the last time we saw a video game from Metroid? I played on the on my handheld. I forget what it was. Exactly. Two DS. It's, it's been a yeah. few years, but I I played it and it was badass. But at the same time, I wanted to see it on the big screen. I wanted to see it on my mm -hmm. Switch or on the TV, exactly. and I couldn't. There was no way to put it on the TV. This is the closest thing it is, and it kind of, you're right, it kind of bothers me because it makes you wonder, like, Nintendo's half-assing and, and said, well, let's just make it like we would make it for the handheld, but we'll mm -hmm. put it on the Switch, and it's half the work, because we don't have to make yeah. it look amazing, we can just make it like a handheld. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure they were trying to, uh, you know, excuse themselves by saying, well, we're, we're trying to appeal to the nostalgia, like, nostalgia, exactly. Exactly. Like kids are not gonna know. play this. Yeah, kids oh, are not gonna play this because you haven't made a fucking Metroid game in systems. You asses. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Nintendo has to learn something here, and it's uh, the whole like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You still have my money, for sure. But along the way, you need to get all these other kids Look. too, because Look. you want your your company to prosper. You know. You want to know the truth about Nintendo? Mm -hmm. Is they don't give a shit about you and I. No, it's true. They don't give a shit about you or I. The only thing uh -huh. they give a fuck about is the Japanese consumer. And is that ver that's very Japanese of them. From the whole E3, how many of those games, honestly, listen, and we're not being racist, how many of those games were motherfucking Japanese games that you would never play? <laughs> that you would never play? A lot of them. <laughs> and that's not being racist. That's the truth. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Um, a lot of these games where people are like, oh my god! Look. And I'm yeah. like, I don't know what that is. Yes. And people are getting excited about it. I'm like, yeah. I never fucking play that shit. Yeah. Your dad never bought you that from Japan and brought it to the U.S.? I'm like, no, motherfucker. I wasn't my rich. My dad's never even been to the U.S. <laughs> you shit. <laughs> mm. Um... Yeah. Dude, <laughs> yes, it's bullshit. Uh, they don't give a shit about the American consumer. You know what the American consumer wants? You know what we want? We want a Donkey Kong game. 
Exactly. A 3D platform. An 3D open world, open world Donkey, Donkey Kong. Kong game. We want a Metroid that open amazing. world. We want a Pokemon game that's for adults and that looks real. None of this bullshit you've been making. Mm -hmm. Cell shading shit that looks like like somebody hasn't even finished the Photoshop and paint and shit. <laughs> That's oh. true, that's true. Nintendo doesn't give a shit about the what Americans want. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. That's why yeah. we never get what we want. There was no Switch Pro. There was no fucking yeah. uh, Pikmin 4. None of those leakers were right. All you idiots on the internet, <laughs> on the YouTube, who live at home with your moms and don't pay rent, and you have 15 million subscribers and 300,000 views in the first two <laughs> minutes of posting a video, you motherfuckers all were wrong. Nintendo disappointed everyone. Yeah, and, but but here's one thing that I think Nintendo's brewing. I think Nintendo's brewing the 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 the, the reveal of a new console on their own. They're not gonna do it on E3. They already learned that they they don't have they don't need E3 to have that kind of uh you know like power to be like hey everyone's watching us either way. Keep um, dreaming. We're gonna do that. Keep on watching. Our own. Keep dreaming, keep <laughs> you watching. don't think they're gonna reveal that this year? I think they are. They have to. It's already been what five years since the Switch came out. It's oh, five years, bro. My fuck. Yeah, it's been it's... five years. They need to come out with a new console, bro. And I predict that it's gonna be in November, December, where they're gonna tell us, "Guess what? Here it is," and everyone's gonna go bonkers. Way. I'm pretty sure this is gonna happen, bro. Uh, but not on E3. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't. I didn't expect that e, uh, the new console was gonna come out in E3. Nintendo's gonna do it on their own, on their own <laughs> YouTube channel. Um, but um, you say anyway. no, I say yes. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, <coughs> let's talk about <coughs> some other shit that finally Nintendo supposedly gave us. Uh, and I thought, just like everyone else, that the main game, the focus of the whole thing, was not gonna be Metroid Dread. Came out of mm -hmm. nowhere. We thought it was gonna be Breath of the Wild too. Uh, and all they did was give us a stinking minute and a half, uh, half trailer, half gameplay, half uh, pre-alpha, no pre-pre-beta, because God, that's not finished, bro. Uh, pre beta uh, fucking uh, demo thing that they showed us gameplay supposedly um, mm -hmm. and then at the end it says 2022 dude that could be in December yeah it, it could have been but you know how again you know how Nintendo is they're very um, how can I say this uh, careful <laughs> about what they're gonna no, fucking post no. and, and 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 they they redo everything if they don't like it they'll they're gonna you know like it, it, they want the perfect product to be out there and that's how that's why they take so long to make these things otherwise we wouldn't have a badass fucking video game for from uh breath of the wall so the uh, uh video game but and that game uh, took over six years <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. God, so. it was supposed to come out for the Wii U, not for the mm -hmm. Switch, mm -hmm. and that's the only reason I ever bought a Wii U is because there was a new Zelda game coming out, and it never yeah. came out during the Wii U's lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got you. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Assholes. I 20, <laughs> 20, 2022. That could mean December. Yeah. And you yeah. know what that means is, let's say they make the new console, like you said, they're going to be the Switch Pro or the Switch Plus or the Switch mm -hmm. 64, whatever you they're going to mm -hmm. fucking call this new console. Uh, I'm probably going to have to spend another $400 to oh, play yeah. it, to play it looking good in that new console. Mm-hmm. Fucking dicks. Yeah. Uh, I've been saving up <laughs> just for that. <laughs> I, mean, I, like, have, this is gonna I have the, the money, console. but I'd rather not spend it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, I already well, have yeah, a Switch. Yeah, nobody wants to spend money. I already have a Switch with all these accessories. I don't need a Switch Plus. Uh, God damn it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Anyways, let's get into some of the shit that's in, in the fucking thing that they showed us. The main thing uh, that I noticed right away is that Link has long hair. Oh, yeah. He does. And it moves, and it moves with the wind, and it's fucking long. And what's crazy is that that could only mean one thing. Mm -hmm. From the time 
Because we've seen the first trailer, and we know they're in the cave, and they wake up Ganondorf, and he wakes up, and that's why the castle does this. And Zelda, we see her fall. Whether she's dead, we don't know, but we know she falls, and she's separated from Link. And Link, either his arm gets eaten by that malice that's taken over him, either his arm gets eaten by that, and this spirit, that hand, becomes like, oh, you need a hand, I'll be your hand, and he becomes, mm -hmm. that's why he has that weird fucking me uh, mechanical arm uh, with powers. Mm -hmm. um, that's it's that's a, what, my theory, that's my theory. I He's going to lose his arm. it's more like a bracelet thing, something to... No, it's, it's literally the hand that was holding Ganondorf from the first mm -hmm. trailer. Uh, but when Zelda falls, Link grabs her, and this is from the first trailer, Link mm -hmm. grabs her, and then the hand grabs Link so that he doesn't fall. So because the mm -hmm. hand grabbed Link, the hand stopped holding Ganondorf, and so Ganondorf's mm -hmm. free, because the hand's no longer there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so then Zelda falls, from what we see in this trailer, Zelda fucking falls, and then I, I'm guessing... A link gets his arm in that malice because it starts coming everywhere, and uh, and he loses his arm. That's just my theory. That malice takes his uh -huh. arm, and so then the arm, the ghost arm that's there, uh, it decides to fuse with Link to help him. Uh, and and during this trailer, we see that Link. Uh, let me try to find that that same little spot. We see that Link is lying down, and. Uh, there it is. We see that Link is lying down, and and uh, and the arm, the, the thing is fusing with his arm. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think right there, it's repairing because he probably lost his arm. It's repairing, yeah. him, and it's becoming a part of him. And he's lying down. And he's probably on conscience. In the old game, he slept for a hundred years, regenerating his body. Yeah. Well, he only fucking lost an arm, so maybe he's like regenerating. And the, the thing stays there. So some time has passed. So when Link wakes up, he has long fucking hair. Mm -hmm. No, no, and, no. This is the thing and, that I was... Hang on. Uh -huh. Here's the thing. And that's when he, when he wakes up and we first see the beginning of the trailer where he's falling from the sky and there's all these islands everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's because, hey, time has passed. And he's all like, mm -hmm. whoa... This is Hyrule, but why are there all these islands in the sky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it I think that's where they're going to... Well, I don't think it flew up. I think it came down. Oh. That was, that was, it was some shit that was already in the sky really high. Oh, I see. Uh, because check it out. In the in, in next month, Nintendo's releasing Skyward Sword, which is the game that tells the story from, from the very f beginning. It tells you mm -hmm. why there's a Zelda, why there's a Link, and why there's a bad guy. And why they're reincarnated. Uh, it tells you everything. It's like the origin story. And they're re-releasing it next month. Before this game. Why? Mm -hmm. Because it's going to be connected to it. In that mm -hmm. game. You start the game out. And you're in, an, you're in islands way up in the sky. And it's called mm -hmm. Skyloft. And it says that down there. The world was primitive and evil. And so they decided to live up in the sky. And they have these floating islands. And that's where they live. By the end of the game, you destroy all the evil that they decide to come back down and start anew. And that's how Hyrule begins. These yeah. people used to be in the sky. And so these floating islands were have been there for a long fucking time. And now that Ganon, some, he did something. He's fucking up the land. These things start floating down. And now you have these I islands. Th I thought it was the other way around where he, like, some, he blew something up and they started fucking going up. Um, I thought about there's that two... too. But yeah. if you look around, the things that the islands that are floating up, that's nothing that we've ever seen. Mm -hmm. None of those. We've never seen any of those ruins. So because if it was the thing that was already there, we've explored the whole world already. You know that yeah. shit's not there anymore. That shit's um, not there. What do you think about him like going through like concrete and rocks and shit like that with the well, bracelet? That's what I was wondering is how the fuck is he? Hang on. If you decide to float down and explore the world again and you land on the bottom how the fuck do you get back up there that's what i was wondering yeah uh but that seems to show us how that's going to happen so uh in in the world there's going to be like these little um they look like holes in the ground i'm trying to i'm going to try to freeze it real quick because you all know what i'm talking about 
Uh, I think he warps through the rock. Well, here's the thing. There's going to be these little holes in the ground. And when he goes mm -hmm. there, you're going to use your fucking hand powers or whatever mm -hmm. the fuck and touch that little hole in the ground. And then that hole in the ground is going to shoot you up to an island mm. that's right above it. And that's how you reach the islands in the sky. Gotcha. Now, but you have to find you have to find the little holes yeah. in the ground. They're going to be hard to find because they're small way. Think about yeah. it. Now, there is a bracelet, and then there is the fucking cannon thing on the other hand. Because the, the bracelet, cannon? he has it on the right hand, right? It's on the right hand. And then the cannon thing is on the left hand. Um, so it's two different things. It's not a cannon. It's a shield. Uh-huh. It's a shield, and in front of the shield, there's a dragon's head. Mm. And so it's just an item. When you pull up the mm -hmm. shield, it, it has the dragon's head already. And when you block, oh. it shoots fire for you. I was like, that's a Mega Man shit right there. It's going to be an item. But, yeah, it's a it's a fucking shield. Um, oh, I see the dragon now. You're yeah. right. Well, they showed us a minute and 30 seconds of this shit. Um, still, I think uh, it's very disappointing that we're going to have to wait another year <laughs> to, to see anything. I guess this means that next E3... If this will actually be the highlight of E3 and not Metro, another Metroid game. But let's move on to some other shit uh, because yep. and this is uh, away from Nintendo who disappointed. Um, we get uh, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. Well, it's going to come to every major new system. What I mean by new is like PS5, Xbox Series X, and S1 or whatever the fuck names they tell each other. And PC. But we're finally getting an actual Avatar game. And right away I knew, holy shit, this is not for the PS4. Look at those graphics. <laughs> I was like, shit. <laughs> My system can't do that. No, no. Uh, it looks good. And it's by Ubisoft. That's Assassin's Creed, man. Yeah. Um, oh, Jesus. That's going to be, yeah, bro. I, it's going to be I, good. It's, yeah. Good. I, it's an open world. Jesus Christ. I think it's Imagine an open world. Imagine something like that, but for VR, that would be fucking amazing. This motherfucker, <laughs> this motherfucker in his VR, I swear to God. <laughs> that would be cool. I would be there all day. I would wear diapers for that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this looks amazing. Real. This looks amazing. It does. And I don't know. I will see if it convinces me to buy a PS5. You know what's going to convince me to buy a PS5? They got to make mm -hmm. those bitches smaller. That shit's too big. It's a huge motherfucker. I yeah, it's have, like, it's, it's, I don't want to have that on my console. It's gaming PC, basically. I don't have room to put another thing like that. I don't want to put that right there. Like, it's going to look like a huge tower. No, no, no. And it's white. <laughs> Fuck you. You don't even have it in black to match everything else that's back there. Fuck you. Um, anyways, <laughs> another game that came out is uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, oh yeah, Square Enix. Uh, red flag right away. Square Enix. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> uh, Look, it looks you wanna, good. You, you, they always. You want to explain it. why? Uh, Square Enix. I will. I will in just a little <laughs> bit. Just a little bit. Because I'm gonna say some good stuff about it. It looks good. Because let's face it, they have a good game engine and they make it look good. I mean, it doesn't look horrible. It looks good. Nope. Um, none of the characters, which always kind of bothers me because, you know, I know what they're doing. You know, they're trying to do the comic books and it looks like the comic books. But everyone would rather play a game when it looks like the MCU. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I want to see like Chris they... Pratt. I want to see Dave Bautista. I want to see mm -hmm. fucking Zoe Saldana as Gomorrah. I want to see the Rocket and the Groot that we see in the movies. And I want to hear voices that sound a little bit close to them. Because, yeah. let's face it, they probably couldn't afford to pay the real actors, and I'm fine with that. But there's a lot of voice actors that sound close mm -hmm. to them that they could hire. Um, that's what we want. But that's not what we get. Now, is it? No, of course not. Because, you know, there's copyrights, infringement rights about the likeness of a character. And, I don't know, you know why. Like the actor and whatnot. I don't know why the actors are being pussies and just say, yeah, put my, put, put my face in a game. I love it. Right. But it's about the money. Fuck you. You already have $80 million for making the goddamn movie. 
Well, how much do they pay basketball players and soccer players to be in those games? Um, Millions. Right? Have you seen like, the houses these guys live in? Fuck. I don't know. I mean, there's I mean, Arabs live like that <laughs> on the other side of the world. They have huge houses and shit. They do. Um, fuck, they can buy islands and make them. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I mean, I agree. I, I, I'm. It's not as appealing uh, because you don't really feel connected to those characters. Those that that's not Quill, you know. Yeah. Like that. It, it, it's it's a blonde dude. And then he doesn't look like him. You know, Gamora doesn't like look like her. Yeah, and that's why, that's why partially this will also fail. But the main reason it's gonna fail is because it's from Square fucking Enix. Okay, <laughs> Square Enix are the motherfuckers that brought you the monstrosity that is Avengers, uh, Marvel's Avengers. They have the properties of Marvels right now, and oh, I bet yeah. Disney and Marvel are pissed off because that game's a <laughs> piece of shit. And it pisses me off because, like I told you, they have good graphics, and they showed us a trailer for their new expansion that's free. Uh, and it's a, a Black Panther battle for Wakanda. And man, like, if I didn't know that this game sucked, like, this, <laughs> this looks good. This looks really good. Uh, yeah. But I don't. I'm not. I don't want to play it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Fuck. It pisses me off. You have such good graphics, and you have a good game engine, and you have endless possibilities, and then you gotta fucking suck it all up. Yeah. It kind of sucks. Um. And also, let, let's just say this. I mean, there is no actual gameplay. This is all just a cinematic trailer yeah. of the video game. There's no actual gameplay. So I Look, really can't say, like, oh, I'm so excited about the this. people who have played this game already, because it's just an expansion. It's like a little extra story, and now you get to play as Black Panther. People who played this game, they know what the gameplay is going to be. Repetitive, nonstop fighting robots over and over and over and over again. Go here, defend this for over and over again. Go over there and defend this. Go over here and kill this guy. It's over and over. It's the same fucking boring ass repetitive shit, which is the biggest is. complaint and why nobody fucking plays Marvel's Avengers. <laughs> yeah is that like uh because i never bought the game i honestly I, di I didn't feel like appeal to, to to buy it uh is is it like a a game that you can play online with uh, with one of your friends like or is it just like a one player thing it's a, meant to be that uh-huh but it's the same shit yeah the background looks different but it's like go to point a defend it go to point yeah. b defend it defend it yeah. go to point c defend it and it's like for five minutes and then, mm -hmm. go back to point A. Take it over. This is like, like fuck you. <laughs> How is this any fun? <laughs> um, Jesus. It's nonsense. Everybody just fucking yeah. hates this shit. I mean, you have badass characters that. and it looks amazing, but it's boring and it's repetitive yeah. and no one likes it. Exactly. You. No one likes it. A friend of mine told me like, well, you know, it's kind of like Diablo three. Uh, or, or or any of the Diablos, I was like, no, bro, Diablo has a really good story. Like, it has a really good fucking, like, something to back uh, back yourself on. Because people might argue that it's like a hack and slash. But, dude, it's it's a, it's a looter. Like Diablo. It's a looter. Yeah. RPG yeah, exactly, looter. Exactly. It's an RPG looter. Exactly. But it's an RPG. This is not a looter because it takes yeah. forever to unlock shit. And half the time, it forces you to buy in-game mm. credits to actually unlock shit. Mm -hmm. So like a little game a, that you love to play. This is not a looter. This is a fucking uh, let's let me just wear you down so that you can spend real money to unlock everything because you're gonna take forever. Yeah. Anyways, let's move on from this piece of shit company. Hey, if you like shit like this? Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and check out the full podcast on the link to the right where we discuss more topics we don't post on these short videos. Peace.